Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing Homeworld 3 Collector's Edition, so we'll get straight into it. I'll show you the box, guys, then we'll pull it all out, get a closer look. Do let us know in the comments what you think, guys, and if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. It's nicely detailed all the way around. We do have a slip cover here, um, so we'll uh, try to slide that up like so. So it just gives you more information um, on the sides of that, uh, what's included, and a little bit of information about the, uh, the companies. All right, you've got the uh, Homeworld across the, uh, the bottom there, Homeworld 3, and um, on the top as well. So it opens up like so. It says Collector's Edition in the front here, so very nicely detailed. Uh, we've got our first components here to take a look at. So we'll just grab them all out. So everything's in a nice little tray to uh, hold it all together. Then we've got some instructions here for in assembly, I assume. I don't think there's anything included in there. It's just a, uh, some more paperwork there to check out, some foam here. Um, and then we've got all the components for the, um, the ship there that we get to uh, put on display. Okay, so let's pull, let's leave them there for a second. Okay, and then we'll come back to those. Let's check these out first. So we've got um, just some uh, function information there. We've got, like I said, the instructions for um, putting it all together. It does look like you can power it up. Not included though. Uh, we'll see if the cable is and we'll probably get some lights happening when we do that. But uh, I'll do that off camera. Then in the outro, we'll check that out. Okay, so first up, we've got a little keychain there. Okay. Got a set of cards here. We'll check out shortly. Um, so we've got a little thank you card here. And then we've got the uh, code there on the back for the, uh, for the game. And then we have a nice image here printed. Okay, so very nice image there. Okay, nothing on the back, just the one-sided. So quite a nice piece to uh, put up and display. And then we'll uh, cut through the, uh, the plastic here. And then that way we can uh, take a look at these. Okay, so got a nicely detailed packet. And then we should be able to um, open it up and grab everything out. So these are a uh, deck of playing cards. Just want to see. So they have different ships on each of these cards. So very nice. Okay, so same image on the back. And then on each of these cards, guys, you've got all uh, different ships. And then they change color depending on the, uh, the hand that you're, uh, you're playing. Okay. All right, moving forward, so we'll go back to our ship. We'll pull out the components, guys, then I'll try and get it all together on camera. Shouldn't take too long. So we've got a base here, okay? Uh, just seeing if it's numbered. It's got a lot of information on the back there, just about all the publishers and stuff like that. Can't see any numbers of build numbers or anything like that. We've got our ship now, okay? So quite light. Um, not too much weight to that, guys. Just be careful. It's got a lot of um, thin components coming off the side of it, so they may uh, they may break easily. Got another one there. Okay, it's got its own stand already. Another one here, and the final ship there on the stand. We've only got three, a group of three. We do have a cable. Okay. So it's connected to something else. Okay, so we've got USB into the wall, and this will go into our uh, ship. The location was on the uh, was on the instructions, and then we've got some more power cables as well. So you got uh, two sections to power up. Um, it's going to be a bit difficult, but uh, that's okay. I'll make it work. And looks like just a small little piece here. Okay, as well, and that seems to be everything, and um, nothing else under the foam, just um, another image there. Okay, 
All right, let's try and get our ship together, guys. I'll just get through, get rid of the box. It's out of the way. Okay, so we've got our ship there. Let's take a look at the instructions again. Okay, so we just trying to um, work this out. So you can have it. So we have a compartment here that comes off as well. Okay, um, assume that's what's going to illuminate later on. Thought it was a battery compartment, but it's not. So that slots back in there. Um, we've got the uh, one USB slot there. Okay, and just trying to locate the second one. Do have a speaker here, so it's probably going to take uh, make some sounds as well. Okay, so regardless, let's um, let's try and put it together. Okay, so we've got our stand in there, and it looks like we will. Okay, so so you can display it two ways, guys. All right, so there's only, okay, just make sure you get it the right way. Um, and it is tight, being new as well, so just be gentle with it, guys. But that's uh, one way to display your uh, ship on the stand, and then you wanna get your USB on here. You can plug it in like so. This one will go into the wall. We'll check that out later on, guys, in the outro. Um, so let's um, take a look. So you only need to plug in the USB into one section. Okay, you get two stands, depending on how you'd like to display it. So you can display it vertically or um, horizontally. Okay, just uh, gentle. Everything's tight. Okay, just show you the second way. It's up to you guys, I guess, how you'd like to uh, display it all. I might go vertical um, personally, but um, let's just, just for something different. Okay, so that does click in, and then we've got our USB C that plugs in there, and then We've got this part, which uh, should have put on first. Okay. So he slides in through the bottom. The cable goes, it's quite heavy once the, uh, once the ship's on there. But you got your cable, so you slide it in from the bottom, okay? Um, there's a slot at the back, that slots uh, over that, over the cable, and then you push down, lock him in, and then we've got this that slides up, okay? And then this compartment that pulls off, okay, will uh, just rest on there and sit on there, okay? I guess it's um, it's a way to um, to dock or enter the ship, obviously. Yes. Um, so you display it like that, and then obviously you've got your little ships that you can uh, display around it. All right, guys, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it up, and then that way we can uh, see what sounds it makes, see what lights it makes in the outro. Um, so stick around for that, guys. But that's everything included in today's box. Like I did say earlier, though, do let us know in the comments what you think, and if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. But for now, we're going to conclude this part of the video.
Welcome back guys, so I opted to uh, display it like this, there's a little bit more going on, okay, as you can see you've got the tray down, uh, got it plugged in, powered up, so there's the, uh, the on, off button on the top here, okay, so we'll push it on, and then uh, it does make sounds and lights up, so pretty cool, let's just um, sit through it. So as you can see, it makes the uh, sounds there, and then it just lights up now, okay? And then you've got this uh, this bay down the bottom. So this is like uh, magnetized as well once you power it up, um, okay? And then you can uh, dismantle your ship off the uh, stand there and uh, place him on the uh, on the tray there as well. And you've got the other two uh, for display as well. You can stick them wherever you like, okay? So pretty cool. And then we'll just turn it off, guys. It kind of powers down. And then, uh, then the lights will turn off like so. Okay, guys, so if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. Hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Once we get to the next milestone, we'll the next giveaway. So do subscribe to running for that, and we'll catch you next time.